Hi, let's see how to write assembly language program to generate time delay for 8051 microcontroller. This is scale microvision. Select the scale microvision to develop the program. This is a default project. Say, if, is there any existence project? Project tab. Choose option close project. Now let's start begin our new project to generate time delay by using timers. Select project tab and choose the option new project. And here just create your project name. This is one second time delay. This is my project name. Give the project name in a specific folder. So just remember the path where you are saving your project. Now I'm going to save my project within local disk E drive, which is ASM programs. And my project name is one second time delay. And click on save. So this is device selection window where which microcontroller you are going to write program so you need to select your target device for which microcontroller you are going to write programs and these are all controller manufacturers so even you can find which companies deals with this embedded technology you can take a look here from this i'm going to select atmil and click on plus mark so this will show the devices from this atmel manufacturer from this list choose the device 889c51 just by clicking plus mark now our target device is 889c51 for our project and click on ok this is a startup code warning. So this startup code maintains all the default values of registers and memory locations, everything. And if you add the startup code with your project, with just by clicking yes or no, there is no issue with any option here. I am proceeding with no. Up to now, you created a project and you selected your target device, which is Atmel manufacturer. 889C51. And now to write the program, go file tab and choose the option new. Here you need to type the program to generate one second time delay by using timers. And before proceeding this, even you can save this text editor again by going the option file, choose the option save. So my program name is one second time delay. It may be as same as your project name or else you can give another name for this program. No, there is no issue. But program save, you should go with dot asm extension. Here dot asm is mandatory because you need to, you are going to write program in a specific language, which is assembly. For that, you need to save the file with .asm extension. After giving file name with .asm extension, click on save button. And here you can type the program. And still, if your font is not sufficient to you, then you can go edit option and configuration. So here you can fix your text file sizes or else ASM files size and this is the size here I'm going to give size as 20 so now I can type this program here so as per this timers 
you should aware of how to generate time delay by using timers so the title i am writing here generating one second time delay using timers and steps you need to follow here the first step is select timer by using t mod register there is a one sfr register which helps us to choose the timer and when different modes and what is the second step you need to load initial values of th and tl registers respective to timer so if it is timer 0 go with tl0 and th0 and if it is timer 1 go with th1 and tl1 third step is you need to start timer and fourth step to generate time delay which is wait until flag bit become one because for each timer there is a specific flag bit this will check how many cycles you are repeating based on this flag bit logic and then if we have more cycles still clear flag bit and repeat the process So these are the steps you need to follow whenever you have generating time delay by using timers. This is the final step. So according to this, first I'm going to assign T mod value, which means I'm going to select timer zero mode one, which is 16 bit timer. There are different modes here for mode 0 13 bit with prescale or and mode 1 16 bit and mode 2 8 bit which is auto reload if it is a 16 bit which can count pulses for one complete cycle 0 to 65535 because of 16 bit and so I declared sorry this is timer one because one zero is timer one so that you need to sell deal with th1 and tl1 registers but as per one second time delay so you should know how many cycles I need to calculate I need to count that you can do with the help of calculator So along with program, the standard calculator. So this is one second means how many microseconds? One, two, three, four, five, six. This divided by one point zero eight five two. So how I got this? This is as per crystal oscillator frequency. The crystal oscillator frequency will play the major role in the case of timers and timers will generate so that I need to count 9,21,489 pulses. So to count these 9,21,489 pulses, I'm just dividing with 
65,535 as per my maximum count. So I'll do it again 65,535 into 14. So how many pulses I'll get? Just I'm cross checking. This is 9,17,490. But still, this is not enough calculation. I'll just do this thing 9,21,489, which divides with 15, which is 61,432. So 61,432 into 15 what I'll get will be so which is almost equivalent to 6921480 which is most related calculation so that what I'll do here 921489 divided by 50 so 61432, I need to repeat 15 times so that I'll take it as 15 count in one register, which is R1. So you need to convert this 16432 into hexa format. So 61432, what is hexa equivalent? EF F8. So, not this, you need to subtract this from 65535 minus 61432, which is 4103, and hit hexa equivalent is 10. So this 07 I'm going to assign with TL and TH1 I'm going to assign with 10 and start the timer by using set bit and how to wait JNB TF1 comma dollar which is self for loop of this so which will wait until flag bit become one and clear the next clear the flag bit and repeat the process by using d j n z just by decrementing r1 value by one i'll go back and this back label i need to apply at initial values so if i repeat the process from 10072 ffh 15 times i'll get my required pulses so that just by counting this i can generate one second time delay by using timer so i'll cross check this output by doing debug session to compile this program select target one and click on the plus mark you will get source group one here just select it and right click and choose the option add files to source group one and choose asm source file now my file name is one second time delay and just select that file and choose the option add close so once the file is added you'll get plus mark here and to check the errors and warnings go project tab and choose the option build target so now I don't have errors and warnings in this program but you should set crystal oscillator frequency 
in timer's case crystal oscillator frequency is going to play major role so that for that you need to select target one and right click it you get options for target target one so this you need to set it as 11.0592 so that you will get for each pulse 1.0852 microsecond and one pulse duration formula is 12 divided by crystal frequency this is 12 divided by 11.0592 megahertz means you will get 1.0852 microsecond so this you need to set and then build again this is a build now enter into debug mode to see the output of this program where i can find time delay in this in second section which is for this default link which is zeros just by running this program you will get one second so run here so you will get accurate time delay 0.9999 seconds so this will help a lot to generate your time delay with accuracy using timers this is the way to generate the time delays by using timers concept thanks for watching